Hello and welcome to our last video about temperature measurement. So we do cover now some different methods. One of these methods is demography. So we are using some thermal camera there and make a picture. The camera it's used in so-called infrared camera. So the camera is taking a picture and, sh and shows us how it looks just by heat, ra heat radiation. Yeah? Infrared radiation, we have to feed it as heat or we can measure it as heat. And every, every uh, thing, everything which is emitting infrared radiation has some temperature. And by measuring this infrared density of this infrared radiation, I can guess what the temperature of this thing is. Okay. One issue there. Let's say we do have some sheet metal. We do have some sheet metal. And this sheet metal, this is very rusty. This is very oxid. So it's very brown. Yeah. And then I start to polish my sheet metal. Yeah. Make here some stripes. And in these stripes it is a really, really shiny. Okay, here we have a really shiny, really shiny metal. Yeah. And in between it's still it's still not that shiny there's still this rust plate. If I now let the thing alone, would we expect that the rust and the, and the shiny parts do have different temperatures? No. Of course not. Of course not, they do have the same temperature. However, if I take a picture with my infrared camera, I see stripes. Why is that? Because the shiny part is not only emitting its own radiation, it's also reflecting radiation from the surroundings. And if it's surround very hot, yeah, then these things look very hot. If it's very cold, then these things look colder, yeah? just because they are polished. So it does not really mean that thing has this and this temperature. It really is a combination about send out infrared signal yeah? and, and reflected infrared signal. Yeah? So you have to be careful, if, especially if you measure something like this with different shiny parts and not the shiny parts and so on. Yeah? If everything is quite the same, yeah, it can be very useful. For instance, on houses. Yeah, or if you measure inside of an electric cubicle and see one, one relay is really getting hot because there is a lot of, a lot of power on this. Yeah. These are very good. Then, yeah. for the, also for comparing. Yeah. If you have similar things or the same things and compare to each other and see which is more, which is hotter, it works pretty well. Yeah. For absolute measurement, there is it's not that it's not that accurate. Yeah. Infrared camera demography. Yeah. So this this is a potential potential source of errors in this demography. Keep this in mind. Then, possibility, pyroelectric sensor, PER sensor. Demography, PER sensor, pyroelectric effect. We've talked about this. We have talked about this. Uh, we have we have used it also in our, in our Arduino. This is this thing, if you remember. Yeah. Remember this? There's a separate video about this on our Arduino course. Right now, this is the pyroelectric sensor here. Yeah. It does not really 
look familiar, yeah? but if I cover it, ah, movement sensor, okay, peer sensors are often used as movement sensors, also for flame detection and some gas analysis, uh, they are used, what is the, what is the thing of the peer sensor, it does not really measure the absolute temperature, it does only measure temperature changes. Temperature change is realized. Then this thing inside there is changing its, its resistance, uh, pure electric effect, and this is recognized by, by the electronics on this. PER sensor, pure electric infrared sensor. Yeah. So it's it's only reacting on the temperature change. And then there is something like, uh, it's called acoustic gas temperature measurement. Acoustic gas temperature. How is this working? How is this working? Speed of sound. Speed of sound, influence on speed of sound, is of course the gas or the material, let's say the gas is constant, yeah? and of course it's the, it's the temperature of the gas. Yeah? So if I do have here some sender, loudspeaker, and I do have here some mic, yeah? then I can send out, I can send out a sound wave, yeah? boom, 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 boom. the electronic knows when it send it out the sound wave, can measure the difference in time until the sound wave was detected, yeah? knows the distance, of course, yeah? and from this information it can calculate the temperature, which is the average temperature in this channel, in this sound channel. Okay? Acoustic gas temperature measurement. And if I then make this in a certain matter yeah, and divide all my senders and receivers over a certain over a certain period or a certain area, I can even by calculating out of this average temperature temperatures of the beams, yeah. I can even calculate a heat distribution inside an area, for instance in a vessel, yeah. steam vessel or something like this. Yeah. Acoustic gas temperature measurement. Yeah. Accuracy is not that high, around 1% accuracy. However, as there is nothing inside. Yeah. So this is quite something also. Yeah. So. We had our resistance thermometers, we do had our thermo elements, yeah. we had now this stuff here. Yeah. This is these are the main the main things yeah, in, in temperature measurement I would say. Yeah. That's it about temperature measurement in this course. Yeah. Next time we're talking about a very very common measurement also. Next few videos will be about flow measurement. Okay, we want to measure how much liters per seconds, kilo per seconds, or whatever is running through a certain line. For this time, thank you very much for listening, and goodbye.